This is David and Angie, and we live in a 12 by 16 dry cabin in Alaska. We chose to go simple, so when we want to, we can simply go. We are the Rutherfords, and these are our roamings. If you are just visiting our channel and you like this video, we ask that you would consider subscribing to our channel and we can bring you a new adventure from Rutherford Roamings each Sunday. Good morning, friends. So it is officially spring in Alaska. All the snow is gone and it's warming up and this week um we're gonna start off the video with um going to our annual bike blessing and this will be my first bike blessing but it'll be exciting and then um we're just gonna spend the week basically um doing all the things to get uh, ready for summer um getting over winter uh, raking up all the last year's leaves, um, working on getting the woodshed ready to fill um, for the winter, taking care of all the spring things so that we can move on into summer because our summer is only about four months long and it is packed full of fun and adventure. So you won't want to miss any of it. And it is going to be a lot of fun and also at the same time, we have to get out and get our wood for the winter and get our woodshed filled and um, we also need to do some projects on the cabin. We're going to put the siding on this year, um, possibly flooring. Um, yeah, we've got some things to get done. And uh, so first we're gonna go to our bike blessing and I'll get back with you in just a little bit. On Saturday, May 1st, David and I and Maddie, along with our motorcycle group, CMA, which is Christian Motorcyclists Association, had the privilege of attending the 16th annual gathering and bike blessing in Anchorage, Alaska. This celebration is the kickoff to Alaska's riding season, and with over 1,000 motorcycles, it is the largest gathering of motorcycles in the state of Alaska. This annual event is an opportunity for the Alaskan motorcycle community to come together, swap stories, and receive prayer and well wishes for a safe 2021 riding season. Alaska Vets will lead a parade of motorcycles for Rolling Thunder and will present the colors to honor military vets who make up more than 60% of the motorcycle community in Alaska. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. There are many, many men and women who are not here today and who cannot be here today because they gave everything so that we could have the freedom to be here today. So please join me in a moment of silence, honoring the people who would love to be here but cannot. Please cast your eyes to the American flag and follow me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see and of the free the home of the brave. My name is Richard. Praying over all of us today. Just bow your head with me and take your hats off. So, Father, I thank. 
this is the time, God, where we get to come together as family. God, I pray that this would be an incredible summer. Lord, the summer of experiencing your presence and your life and your joy and your peace and your safety. God, we're asking your blessing on our friends, white clubs, individuals. We trust you, Lord, for all these things. We say thank you, God, for allowing us to be part of this, the Bike Blessing Gathering. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Congressman Duck Young. Thank you, and God bless you all. And probably be in Alaska, but I, my big goal for you is to keep us free. There are many people within our society today that want to take away your rights, be it your motorcycle, your weapon, even your freedom of speech. As long as I can walk and talk, I am going to do my job for you. God bless you all. Take care. quickly. Uh, we are actually at about 16 hours and 48 minutes right now. So 17 hours of daylight and June 21st will be our max where we will get pretty much 24 hours of daylight. And then once we hit the other side, June 22nd, we start losing our daylight. So we are moving up quickly and we have a lot of daylight and we're having a little bit of rain, but, um, supposed to warm up next week and the rain will help um, to green things up and it will be pretty so rain is a blessing
it's that time of year again. It is spring, beginning of summer. So this woodshed over here is now partially empty. We have to take that stack of wood there, start chopping her up, filling up the shed, and go get some more truckloads. Springtime, time to fill the woodshed. Where's my coffee? Uh, oh, is it up there? Yeah. Get it. Hanging in a tree.
Show them how you can stack wood. That's how you stack wood? Mm -hmm. I have to do this one. Whoa. Good job. Channel. 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 You can't go in a stove like this. They're either going in the fire pit or in the chops. I love them there for dinner. So you're going to chop them up. Well, like they're down. awkward. They need a big axe chopping. Oh, Those well, wedgy need. ones. Like two wedgy ones. Like this? Yeah, it's like a wedgy. I want to try to avoid this. What is this? Oh. Where that it's all crisscrossed. And then once we get a door width apart, if, we're, if we get that far, door width apart, oh, then it's going to blame. And that way, yeah. we don't need to build all these corner stacks. Time we have a fire, I think of my dad. He used to love burning all the brush, but they're not allowed to do it anymore. Thank you. 
chickens are good. Chickens are friends. They're friends. Scooter, come. come. Chicken nuggets. Chicken fried rice. Thanks. Are you drilling? <laughs> Oh, chickens already went to bed. Ready? You coming in? Jesus for this day. Thank you for dinner. And we use it to nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Eat. No, man.